So say we all. 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 Hello everyone and welcome to the far side of the moon. So Gwen's fifth expansion, Master Mirror, gonna be here on the end of June. And this whole month we're gonna talk about new keywords, new cards, and if you watch this channel for a time being, you're gonna know that these times are the best ones for me. Especially closely to the end of the month, we're gonna start talking about theory crafting and everything, and it's gonna be so good hype in the air, especially when we see Gantrodium, right? So what is gonna be about? We're gonna have seven new keywords. We're gonna talk about them right now. And then there are gonna be totally eight, nine new cards including tokens by the way we're gonna have some new mechanic evolving cards we're gonna talk about them a little too so let's start with the keywords the new mechanics uh we're not gonna talk about the cards right now that's gonna be in the next part so i'm just gonna uh i'm just gonna cover the new keywords first one gonna be devotion and has a card ability assuming your deck consists solely of faction specific cards okay uh this means you're not gonna have any natural cards in your starting deck and don't worry about certain gems because they're not going to be counted as cards in your deck. Uh, as you know, they are going to be 25s mostly in your decks and certain gems not going to cover a place in your deck. So you're going to be, you're going to be safe about that. Don't worry. And when you have devotion, for example, in this card, uh, you are going to get both those abilities. So mostly with these devotion cards, you're going to get something different with if you play the card on the melee row or on the range row but if your deck has devotion you're gonna get both abilities and probably you're just gonna use these devotion cards in your deck if you create your deck with only faction specific cards so next one echo it's gonna be a good one cards with echo they're gonna return from the graveyard to the top of your deck at round start and the card also becomes doomed it means removing it from the battlefield permanently when you play it second Time. So that's the thing with the echo cards. Uh, there's a catch here, okay? What means round start? Because uh, if round start means before drawing and mulligans, you can play echo cards in the second round too, because it's gonna be on the top deck just before you get your draws and mulligans in the beginning of round three. But if round start means after draws and mulligans, that means to be able to draw echo in the last round, you have to play the echo card in the very in the very first round and we have a clue about this which is the phoenix card as you know if you have phoenix in your graveyard on the round start it's going to be banished and uh, play to the battlefield as hatchling um, that's an artifact card i guess in a random in a, in a random row and that's one of the cards that has the has the keywords with round start you get your phoenix in the round start after card draws and mulligans that means round starts after draws and mulligans that means you have to play echo cards in the very first round if that's not going to change after echo mechanic if they're not going to change the round start thing that means you have to play always echo cards in the first round so in the second round after draws and mulligans the echo card going to be top deck so you can get that card in the, with the draws of round three uh, or if you have any kind of tutor for your top card for example, it can be Vivaldi Bank. You can get free top card uh, with the Vivaldi Bank without losing any coin. So you can play that Echo card. Or you can play with Kawara Novice, for example, with Nif card. Or you can play Defensive Vilga Force, something like that, if you have to play your Echo card in the second round too. But that's gonna be the catch, so be careful about that too. Okay, next gonna be Veteran. It's gonna be Skellige ability. Uh, increase the base power of the unit by one at the start of second and third rounds. So, for example, this card gonna have seven body if you play him in the last round. Next one gonna be Conspiracy. It's gonna be Nifgard keyword, Nifgard new mechanics, and it's gonna be about spy. So that's really uh, got me excited too. Triggers and makes the cards able to stronger when targeting is a spying unit. It's gonna be nice, I guess, to see. Uh, spy archetype gonna be stronger after this expansion next one gonna be symbiosis it's gonna be squatel um, keyword whenever you play a nature card spawn a trend which powers a kill to the number of cards with symbiosis you control in a random light row so there are gonna be new cards 
uh, especially tokens with symbiosis tag. And when you play nature cards, you are going to get value with the number of symbiosis card you control. It's going to be Neem Swarm Mechanic in the end. Next keyword is going to be Veil. It's going to be a status um, which is going to be shield units from detrimental statuses like deleting or prevents them from gaining beneficial ones vitality. It means when a unit has Veil status, it cannot gain more statuses. For example, your opponent is better than proof why. For example, your opponent just poisoned your unit, okay? You are going to give it a Veil status. So your opponent cannot give any other poison to that unit. It's better than proof why, right? If you have to give a poison again, he has to proof why it first. So that's going to work really well. And it's going to be better than proof why mechanic. It means also there's going to be tech against poisons too. And the last mechanic is going to be rapture. Uh, they say that they're going to be have they're going to have one card with Skellige with this, if I remember correctly. Because it's going to be a really stronger ability, probably better than Poison, if there is going to be more cards with Rapture, especially with the bronzes, but we're going to see about that. What does Raptures do? At the end of Afflicted Unit's turn, damages the unit by value equal to its power. The status is afterwards removed. So, uh, you just give Rapture to a unit. Uh, if your opponent cannot purify it, or cannot give it a shield, it's going to get a damage with the number of his base power. Let's think about Yikern, okay? It's going to have 13 body. It means if your opponent is not going to give a shield, it's going to get 13 damage. So now we can check the cards that revealed so far. And we're going to keep doing this during, the, during this month too. And it's going to be the best part. Uh, let's start with tokens. Uh, we're going to have Wandering Trend here. As, you, um, as we mentioned with the Symbiosis keyword, you're going to get wonder to rent this token when you play a nature card if you have symbiosis tag units on your board and its power is going to be decided with the number of symbiosis card you have on the battlefield. Another token with this is here, Young the Right. It is doomed and it has symbiosis tag too. So with this token, for example, as you can see, it's a symbiosis token, you're going to get trends with the number of this token. So these are two tokens. Let's check Oak Critters, another Squirtle card. Uh, with this card, with melee, you are going to give an enemy, enemy unit bleeding for 3 turns, or if you play this card on the range unit, you are going to spawn a base copy of self in this row. But as you can see, uh, this is a devotion card, that means if you have no natural cards in your starting deck, uh, you are going to get both of these abilities as soon as you play Oak Characters. So uh, in its best form, uh, this is just going to be a 744 provision if you, if you think that your opponent cannot stop bleeding. To and 744, that's huge. But also keep in mind that uh, all this devotion and symbiosis kind of decks gonna be swarm decks. It's you cannot play harmony with these decks probably, because you're gonna be a lot of trend and right cards on board. Okay, let's check the um, first conspiracy card for Nifgard, the for the spies archetype, angry mob. It's human. Uh, when you deploy this card, you're gonna damage an enemy unit by two. But if that unit is gonna be a spy unit then you're going to boost yourself to two. Um, most of the spies have one bodies, by the way, other than Roderick and Joachim, if I remember correctly. That means most of the times your damage is going to be one and boost two, so it's going to be extra three. When you think about three body two, it's going to be six for four. And if you damage a Roderick or, for example, Joachim, it's going to be seven for four too. We are, we are seeing a new ceiling for bronze, for, for uh, provision bronze cards, I guess. Um, that's... Uh, this card can really get a nice value in um, definitely a spy deck. Um, I really wanted. To, I I really want to play a spy deck and better than at this current form. At least if we can see a tier two spy decks after this expansion, I'm gonna be so happy. So the next one is Superior, a neutral card. It's a beast. Four body, four provision. Uh, when you play this unit with deploy ability, it's you are gonna banish a card from your opponent's graveyard. So now banishing graveyards with four pro provision bronze card is not only for Nifgard with Arbalest, then every deck can have this. And this is going to be a nice tag against if you if there's going to be still double masquerade balls, uh, the Lippies for series. It's always going to be good at second with decks, great sword decks kind of. This is how you nerf some stuff with adding new cheap neutral cards, I guess. And I really like this approach. So let's check the first Echo card, Onoromancy. Uh, this is going to be a neutral card. 
uh, they mentioned that every faction is gonna have one gold echo card. By the way, they're gonna be spe they're gonna be spe specials. I mean, or units. We're gonna see that. This is the natural one, one, as I said. This is gonna be a tutor. Play any card from your deck. So we had tutors like for units, uh, time provision with royal decree, or uh, for special cards like um, thousand fables. Right. This is gonna be play any card. So this is gonna be tutor for all cards in your deck, and that's why it's gonna be twelve provision. It is worth it because it's also echo tag. If you can play this card in the first round. It's going to be top deck in the round three, so you can draw it and play it again. For example, think it about in a Gadanit deck, okay? Gadanit hybrid deck, especially. Uh, with Onromancy, you can play a unit in the first round, and then it's going to be a tutor for your Gadanit two in the round three. That means, for example, you can cut both Mata and Royal Decree from that deck. It's going to open 19 provision for you. So I've spent 12 for this, so you're going to have another 7 for that too. Only uh, downside is this, you have to get this card most of the times in the first round. Because when you play this card in the second round, uh, it's going to be top deck after your draws and mulligans in the round 3. And if you do not have any kind of tutor for that kind of stuff, uh, you cannot play this card. That's also why, maybe, just I'm thinking this right now, uh, we saw some, for example, discard getting it cards too with second wind. Discard getting it decks with second wind too playing Skulls, even Birna. So even if you play this Onuromancy, for example, in the second round, with the help of your discard cards, discard mechanics, you can get this again in the round three. And it's gonna be must have draw. It's gonna be 100% draw because it's gonna be top deck. So for example, to be to play safe, you can add Skull to your deck too. This is, this is what I like, seriously, talking about this terror crafting and stuff, and we're gonna do that more in the future. Okay, last three cards. Uh, one gonna be both Veteran and Rapture. This is gonna be for Skellige. It's as you can see with the Veteran. It's gonna be five body, eleven provision, legendary card. With this card, you're gonna give an enemy unit Rapture. We talk about Rapture. It is good. If you play this in the last round, it's gonna have seven body also. Keep that in mind with the Veteran tag. Veteran tag gonna work uh, in your deck hand. Doesn't matter. It has to be like that. Otherwise, you cannot get value with this. And as I told you. If I remember correctly, they mentioned that, that this is going to be the only Rapture gold card in this. It's going to be the only Rapture card in this um, in this expansion. If that's the case, it's going to be okay. Still, 7 for 11 is good. And if you play this as a last card and your opponent have lost, say, if he has no Purify or Giving Shield kind of mechanic, it's going to get a lot of value still. So it's it, you, can, you can play it probably. We're going to see that. Okay. The card for this expansion, Master Mirror. Ah, six body, ten provision. So good to see this card in the game. It's gonna have wheel, by the way. It means your opponent cannot give any kind of statuses to this Master Mirror unit. Cannot give poison, cannot give bleeding, you cannot give it, um, for example, vitality, anything, any status. You think about that. So what do you do with this card? With Deploy, you're gonna transform the leftmost card in your hand into a random legendary card from your faction that was not in your starting deck. Okay, this is the first part. Let's try to understand this. Every faction has a few legendary cards. And if you have a couple of them in your deck anyway, one or two, uh, it's gonna make the pool smaller. So it's not gonna be a huge RNG, to be honest. And the good part of this, you can always make your leftmost uh, card in your hand a very bad bronze card. How? Uh, that's how the mulligan working went. When you mulligan away a card from your hand, the card you're gonna draw not gonna be go to the rightmost of your hand. Instead of that, it's gonna go to the place you just make the mulligan. So if you mulligan the leftmost card always, the next card you're gonna draw go to the leftmost of your hand. So in the mulligans in the first very first round, you can try to make your leftmost hand uh, a really bad bronze card that you can turn into a legendary card later with Master Mirror. So it's gonna be kind of meme card, but it's gonna be a really strong card too. This is really make me makes me happy because creating a card that at the both at the same time a memeish card but also a strong card can find a place in meta decks. That's really what I like. This is this is a perfect example, and it's not over by the way. You're gonna repeat this ability. Uh, turning the leftmost card into a legendary card from your faction that is not in your starting deck every time you play your rightmost card from your hand so if you do not like your 
legendary card you get and you know the options okay you know how many cards in that pool you're gonna have you know the other options too so if you specifically want a card a legendary card you can try to get that card with playing the right most card from your hand but as soon as you get the card you want to play you have to play that before playing any right most card from your hand this is gonna be a huge play we're gonna see a lot of videos of master mirror in it especially in dandelion show it's gonna be perfect okay last card for this day my friends it's gonna be <sighs> trust tamara okay it's gonna be neutral six four six gonna have wheel too that means you know what it means and with order you are gonna give a unit wheel this is gonna be a good card too especially we need to see all the wheel cards in the game so six provision for six body it's also nice uh, even if you cannot use this for anything but against against poison decks this is gonna be nice too but I say it again, we need to see other whale giving cards too. If you have cheaper options, maybe you can try to get them to in your deck. So this was the last card for today's video. We're going to have a lot more this kind of videos throughout this month. It's going to be nice. Uh, about any keywords, anything, the cards we mentioned or anything about this expansion, if you have any questions, my friends, just ask in the comments. Uh, I'm going to try to answer them. If I don't know, I'm going to try to learn them for you. So see you in the next video. Bye.